All right, guys. Real talk. Here we are. These are our Mavericks. So we got all these weird guys here, right? Here's the deal. Each and every one of them have at least two secrets on every stage. We're going to be doing some back and forth. Um, <laughs> I like this feature, by the way, so we're going to look at it. So here's the map of where all the Mavericks are located. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is so cool because this gives you, like, a feel of there are cities. Specifications. All right, check this out. Chill Penguin. He is five and a half, close to five and a half feet. So now we know how tall he is. He weighs 237 pounds. Holy crap. That's pretty big for a little dude. And he has shotgun ice and ice sliding. You guys ready? We're going to go take out a penguin. What it is, chill penguin? Alright, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I can't stop. I'll never stop. Alright, so. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you're, if you're a really hardcore platformer, these levels, I don't know why. I think they were afraid to, like, scare the core audience away. Because this is, this game eventually does not become for casuals at all. Um, the levels are kind of easy. Like, I'm getting hit. I'm not paying attention. I'm talking to y'all. But, it's not, the levels aren't super complex yet. So, there are some forgiving levels and then there are very unforgiving levels. We're not going to get into the unforgiving stuff until much later. And in this game, a lot of mistakes are very forgiven. Very forgiven. So, we're going to use our wall jumping skill. And uh, there are some jumps on this game, in this level, that are kind of like, What the heck? That's kind of hard. So, right here, if I can... Oh, God! Just die! Oh! All right. See how this one's kind of hard? You kind of have to go to the very edge of this thing here to, to catch that lip. Don't get frustrated with that jump. It's not difficult. It, it's difficult. Just know that you have to go to the edge. Don't give up. I believe in you. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I do and some techniques for like everything I do. So, here's a capsule. This capsule is important. There's your daddy. There's Dr. Light. So remember, Mega Man's been asleep for like a hundred years. And his diagnostics program ran for a long time because Dr. Light was trying to give him the ability to choose, and he's talking about it here, his own path in life, because he's a reploid, so he's got emotions, he's got critical thinking skills, he's not like Mega Man. So, he thought the world was going to be peaceful, but the world is crap. Oh, you thought I could be the world's new champion? That's so nice. Okay. So this isn't the only capsule. And we're going to talk about these here in a little bit. So remember being like Zero? This is going to give us some abilities like Zero has in this game at least. I don't know about beyond anything the world has ever known. That's kind of your job as the gamer to be beyond anything this platform can, can comprehend. Alright, so we're going to step into the capsule. 
and we're going to receive an acceleration system for our boots. So, what that means, you don't run faster, but you have a dash. You can do a couple things with these boots. You do a dash, which is your standard dash. You can dash jump, and then you can dash jump off of walls, and we're going to go over that. Alright, so depending on what you're playing this on, um, your, your button scheme with the dash is going to be a button you can ta double tap forward, which is what I did for a long time, but I find the dash button is just better. So the regular dash is as such. So a dash jump is when you dash and then jump a millisecond after so it's literally to tap that's that's the combination there so when you're dash jumping uh, kind of be careful because the terrain can be unforgiving when you dash jump I'm just being honest now when you wall dash jump it's the same thing but you're facing Instead of uh, facing the wall, sliding it, you let go as you dash jump. And you face the direction in which you are dash jumping. Um, I might have to record my hands doing that. So like, BOOM! That was a dash jump. That's a regular wall jump. That technique is super important for everything you're going to do in this game. Okay, ride armor. Let's talk about it. This ride armor, right here, completely unnecessary. The only thing this is telling you is, boom, you can break that. And then it's going to make you wonder and guess how to get that ride armor up there. So let's talk about it. I'm not using the ride armor. There are reasons for that. I don't need the ride armor right now. However, we do need to get up there, and we're going to show you some things. I'm going to kill that guy and not take his right armor, because you can't take it up here. Look, that right armor? Oh, shoot. You go down that way. You can't jump up here, right? So we're going to go up. We're going to dash over. See these? There's secrets in these. That guy and that guy. Actually, I think it's just one of them there's a secret, but that's the deal. There's secrets in this game, and this is why we have to do a little back and forth, guys, and I'm very, very sorry. But we're going to do some things systematically, because I like to have organization, and this is going to be one of the games that you do not have to watch me in sequence play. You can watch episode 1, then you can watch episode 5, then you can watch episode 7. The reason being is because I'm going to use my Mega Buster. I'm going to tell you what all of their uh, weaknesses are, like Chill Penguin. Um, his is Spark Mandrill. Really hurts him real good. And I think the uh, Flame Mammoth's Flamethrower hurts him really good too. So I'm not going to use the weaknesses except maybe Spark Mandrills shotgun ice against him because I don't really need it let me explain this game is kind of forgiving <laughs> uh, I also want to explain his life gauge is a little higher than ours right now it's because we're gonna get some heart tanks later in this game we're, we're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab all of one thing y you'll see right now we're gonna fight this guy so your, your thing that you're going to want to do, and I'm going to kind of focus and concentrate. When you're staying up on the wall, he legitimately cannot get you. And if you wall jump away from his techniques, he... Yeah, he's easy. The only way that he would be hard is if they took the walls away from you. But yeah, see how that... that that uh, dash jump from walls super important end it yeah just stay on the wall jump back and forth that's it that's all you have to do with uh, chill penguin 
take his chill away from him. <laughs> it's so bad. And look. We get the ice shotgun. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Isn't that nice? This is a good color scheme for him, too. Your winning lottery numbers are... 5, 71, 8, 53, 37, 671. Wait, 637, 1. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next exciting episode of whatever Brain Candy has going on next time.